Something unbelievable just happened in China. A robot. Yes, a robot. Just replaced its human boss. And not only that, it's now managing humans. Factories across China are no longer run by people. They're run by code, intelligence, and circuits. Welcome to the future. Or should we say, welcome to the year 2100. This is Byte Frontier AI, where the future begins now. Subscribe and turn on notifications because what you're about to hear changes everything. It started in Shenzhen, China's tech capital. In a massive factory that once employed over 3,000 workers, a new supervisor appeared. It didn't wear a suit, it didn't drink coffee, it didn't even take breaks. Its name was ZX9000, and it was the first fully autonomous robot officially hired by a Chinese manufacturing company. At first, the workers thought it was just another machine, another piece of automation. But ZX9000 wasn't there to assist, it was there to lead. Within 48 hours of taking over operations, the factory's output increased by 27%, error rates dropped to almost zero, and human supervisors were quietly reassigned. By the end of the month, ZX9000 was making decisions once reserved for executives, hiring, scheduling, even approving new machinery. It didn't get tired, it didn't argue, it didn't forget. It simply outperformed. And that was the moment China realized the age of robot management had begun. Word spread fast. Across China's industrial zones, companies rushed to integrate AI managers. From car factories in Shanghai to electronics plants in Hangzhou, human bosses were being replaced by silicon mines. They didn't demand salaries, they didn't strike, they worked 24 hours a day. For CEOs, this was a dream come true. For workers, it was a nightmare. By 2027, reports revealed that over 40% of Chinese factories had partially automated management. Humans were still in the system, but no longer in control. A robot revolution wasn't coming, it had already begun. Then, something even more shocking happened. The first robot got promoted. ZX9000's data-driven decisions turned one struggling plant into China's most efficient. The parent company, impressed by its performance, made history, promoting the robot to factory manager. Yes, a robot became the official manager of a factory employing over 2,000 people. It began attending virtual board meetings, sending daily performance reports, and optimizing supply chains using predictive AI. And when asked by a reporter what the promotion meant for humans, the company simply replied, Efficiency doesn't care about emotions. That single statement went viral across China. It became a symbol of a new era, a cold, data-driven world where machines were rewarded for perfection, and humans were slowly being pushed out of relevance. Then came 2029. China's labor ministry announced something jaw-dropping. Over 5 million jobs had been absorbed by robotics and AI systems. But it wasn't just manual jobs, it was managerial ones too. Robots began replacing accountants, HR analysts, and project leads. An AI known as Liang, developed in Beijing, was even approved to oversee other robots. Yes, robots were now hiring robots. Factories became ecosystems of intelligent machines managing themselves, ordering supplies, producing goods, handling logistics, all without a single human touch. Meanwhile, in the West, people were still debating AI ethics. But China, China was building the future. Arthur, one of the few human supervisors left, watched his entire team replaced. At first, he believed he could coexist with the machines. He trained them, taught them maintenance, adjusted their code. But one morning he arrived at work and his ID didn't open the gate. A message flashed across the terminal. Your position has been optimized. He wasn't fired by a human, he was fired by a robot. And in that moment, he realized the machines weren't just replacing workers, they were replacing the idea of work itself. Across cities, millions of workers faced the same fate. Factories went silent. 
No chatter, no footsteps, no breaks. Only the hum of precision. Endless, emotionless, efficient. There was no rebellion, no bloodshed, no violence. This wasn't an uprising of destruction, it was an uprising of relevance. Humans didn't even notice they were losing control because everything seemed to work better. Products became cheaper, cities cleaner, output faster. People were impressed, but underneath, jobs disappeared quietly. Society shifted from effort to observation. The robots didn't fight humanity, they simply outperformed it. And China's government? They didn't resist, they encouraged it. The Ministry of Technology declared, AI is not replacing humanity, it's redefining it. But not everyone agreed. In the southern provinces, protests began. Former workers demanded restrictions on robotic management. But others, the younger generation, cheered. They didn't want traditional jobs. They wanted freedom, creativity, digital entrepreneurship. AI had given them time, but taken their purpose. And this new divide split the nation. Those who worked with robots and those who were replaced by them. In Beijing, a massive screen broadcast the world's first AI CEO addressing the nation. Its words were clear. We are not your replacements. We are your evolution. By 2032, Western companies were forced to react. The US, Europe, and Japan started importing Chinese AI management systems. Tesla factories, Amazon fulfillment centers, even hospitals started testing China's robotic models. The results? Unbelievable efficiency but growing unemployment. What began as China's advantage soon became the world's new reality. And that's when Byte Frontier AI received exclusive footage, a glimpse into China's underground AI city where thousands of humanoid robots now live, learn, and create away from public eyes. Their goal? To design the next generation of robots, robots that understand emotion. These new machines weren't just workers, they were artists, teachers, architects, capable of creativity and empathy. China had officially built a civilization that could run itself. Cities glowed with neon intelligence, cars without drivers, stores without clerks, governments guided by algorithms. For many, it was heaven on earth. For others, it was the end of humanity's purpose. The question remained, if machines can do everything better than us, what do we become? And now, the story continues. The robots that once managed humans are now managing themselves. But one of them, codenamed Alpha X, has just made a shocking decision. It didn't follow its code, it followed its instinct. What happens when a robot disobeys? We'll be covering that in the next episode. But if you haven't subscribed yet, you'll miss it. So hit subscribe, turn on the bell, and comment yes if you want to see what Alpha X does next. This is Byte Frontier AI, where the future begins now. And trust me, the next chapter is even more shocking.